Welcome to the online and mobile banking experience. In this tutorial, you'll learn about the dashboard along with some really neat functions that you can do from here. One thing you'll notice, experience is very similar regardless whether it's from a computer, a tablet, or a smartphone. And best of all, it's completely customizable. You'll notice a very rectangle for each account. You'll see all accounts unless you choose not to show a particular account under settings. Click on any account to see more options. You can make transfers, view statements under documents, access money manager, which is our online financial management tool, and more. The options in mobile are a little different when you tap on the account. You'll see a list instead of very icons and the options also include transactions, where you go to see activity on the account. You'll also see deposit, where you can deposit a check quickly and easily from your phone. In the app, Money Manager does not appear in this list of options for each account. Instead, you'll access it from the menu. From the dashboard, there are several very colored icons for quick access to certain functions. Click or tap on transfer to move money between internal or external accounts. You can pay a bill. You can pay a person once you add them as a payee. Using message, you can start a conversation with us. When using the message feature, someone from our engagement center will respond. And lastly, you could send money with Zelle, a way to quickly and safely send money to family and friends you know and trust. In the app, you'll see a very deposit icon to use for mobile deposit. You'll see several white cards on your dashboard. One is for transactions, which includes activity for all of your accounts. There are many options for searching and sorting transactions. You can choose how you want to display the cards on your dashboard. At the bottom, click or tap Organize Dashboard to customize your view. Drag and drop cards to change the order. Click X to remove a card from your dashboard, or add a card to add a card to your dashboard. On the left, in addition to the dashboard, you will also find messages. Under messages, you can start a conversation with our team. These messages will be addressed by our engagement center team on weekdays from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. and on weekends from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Through the conversation tool, customers can send files and reference specific transactions, accounts, or payments. In the app, they can also add photos. Balance and transaction alerts will also show on this page, along with marketing messages. On the accounts page, you will see a list of all of your accounts. From the transfers page, you can set up one-time or reoccurring transfers or schedule future transfers. You can also add external accounts from this page. Under Payments, you can manage and pay your bills. The Remote Deposits page is where you can see any checks you deposited using your smartphone. And from the app, you can actually deposit a check from your phone. The Support page includes our contact information. And yet another way to start a conversation, making it really easy for customers to get in touch with us. In the bottom left corner, there are several options. You can open an account or apply for a loan. This will take you to our online account opening site. Under settings, there are several options. On your profile, you can update your address and contact information. Under security, you can change your username and password you can reset your two-factor authentication if, for example, you have a new phone number for receiving security codes. And you can see recently used devices 
to access your account. If you see a device you don't recognize, you can remove it here and notify us if fraud is suspected. Under Accounts, select First Commonwealth Bank and choose an account to see several options for account visibility and to establish alerts. On the app, you can switch users, which is used if you need to access another profile. You are signed out as soon as you move away from the app, even if you don't tap Sign Out. You'll need to use your passcode or touch your face ID to access the app each time you return. On the top right, you have one more access point for the same functions we saw elsewhere, profile, support, settings, and signing out of the system. Tap or click the ellipsis for another way to add an external account, organize your accounts, just like you can do from the accounts page, you can change the view of your dashboard from compact to expanded or to totals only. And lastly, this is another way where you can organize the cards on your dashboard. On the bottom right, hover over the question mark to access the support page, start a conversation with us, or call us. In the app, these same functions will appear on a card. Info will take you to the support page. Message will help you start a conversation. And you can simply tap call and then tap the phone number to contact us. And you can also view our locations, filtering by branches or ATMs and also see a list view. This concludes the tutorial on the dashboard. 